Same today, oh, you see, violence on movies and sex on TV. We never dance and never value. We should lie. Love's a family guy. Love's a value, never value. Laugh and cry. He's our family guy. And then, then, season 14 reviews. Boom. What up guys, it's me Con Franchise and hello Family Guy fans So welcome to my episode 15 review of Family Guy A lot going upstairs Yes, it was funny, hilarious and brilliant at the same time It was, I loved it It was fantastic It was amazing Yes, Stewie has nightmares and yeah, he tries to figure it, figures it out why he has got nightmares. And yeah, he asks his, um, Brian um, to help him why he's got these nightmares with this uh, monster in his nightmares. And he discovers, Brian discovers that it is Brian. Yes, it is Brian who is afraid of him. I don't know why, but yeah, that's the story. Yeah, dressed by Joe Vax and written by Steve Callahan. I don't know. But yeah, guest actors Glenn Close as herself and Brooklyn Melman as SM Guy. I don't know, but yeah. But yeah, it was a really, really good episode and awesome at the same time. Lovely. Still to come. EastEnders. Yeah, EastEnders and Eve. Yes, EastEnders and Eve. Boom. Bombastic, bombastic. I'm joking. Yeah, it was a really, really good episode and amazing at the same time. Loved it. Didn't hate it. Loved it. Loved it. Not didn't hate it. Loved it. Loved it. It was funny. It was amazing. A brilliant episode. So, here's the synopsis of the episode. I'm doing it early because, yeah, I wanted to. <laughs> Stay up like this. Ow. Stay up like that. Ow. I don't know why I slapped myself, but sorry guys. Yeah. So, here's the synopsis of the ep this week's episode. Stewie begins having nightmares of constantly of where he is naked in school, a dinner with an evil Glenn Close, and her ogres associations. And, um,. How he messed up during the show's intro, and very in very dr every dream there is a dark black monster with a green face. He decides to sleep in his parents' bedroom. Meanwhile, Stewie sleeping in his room causes Peter discomfort, and he suggests to find a sleepy spot, sleeping spot. Brian suggests that he can sleep in the attic when Pete does. When Peter does, he turns into a handout joint. He tries to evacuate, uh, uh, evacuate his nightmares by ref refusing to sleep again. When he fails, Brian decides to help him. Brian checks on the internet that ni nightmares can come from a deep, deep, dark fears, and they're trying to figure out the cause of it. Brian starts by having Chris. Griffin appears, appear as Frankenstein's monster and the chain of Meg Griffin, Mayor Adam West and the other characters dressed as each other to try to address a possible fear of monsters, which was funny as well. When Greg, Cragmar, Cleveland Brown and Joe Swatchen join him in the attic, they began having fun. Soon they ho um, horseplay, causing the damage when they play law darts in the attic. Look, Lois demands they leave that to which Pete doesn't want to. Lois retaliates by locking them in with a nail gun in the fence. When everyone attempts fails, um, Stewie vents a machine to send Brian into his subconscious to defeat the monster. Brian finds an idea, it's a suggestion, but agrees 
to a known person so guys I need to go somewhere bye no I'm going to pause it so guys yeah I needed a toilet so sorry so as I was saying um, yeah yeah when Brian yeah but Grace it's an nothing less when Brian enters the dream he encounters Glenn Close giving her his opinion of her performance of Credit Deville in the live action version of 100 of Dimensions Dim um, Dimensions sorry over salad um, she claims she can be silly in opposite to all of the serious films that she usually does and dimension um, Mentioned by saying the word fat, fart for Brian. Brian eventually meets Dewey, who takes him to some subconscious of a heading through a series of nightmares they encounter, like the monster. And Brian uses shots from the nightmare Dr. Hartman to kill it, but um, it dissolves into Brian. Confused at first, Dewey D um, considers that he is afraid of disappointment. Brian has concern of him a father figure and Brian concerns Stewie that he will always be happy to be proud of him. That was that was the emotional part when Stewie said um Stewie said that to Brian at uh, Stewie said that to Brian and that was just really touching. Yeah. Brian Pit uh, sorry uh, Peter Cragmark Cleveland and Joe eventually go crazy. Joe even tries to shut down the um Venturi um, but Mega can't hear them because she is listening to wireless surviving tape on what to do if a bear appears in the front of someone. In a gay rage, Pete orders Lois to let them go, but when she refuses to budget, they pressure her, threaten her to clear it on her wedding dress. Yeah, shit on her wedding dress. Uh, and returning, Lois takes the handheld bar from the bathroom at the time when Meg was listening to the wireless surviving tape on how to deal with snake bites. Lois when, then uses it to have them escape the attic where they fell near her. Peter tell her that she once was too late to stop them from pooing on her dress. Even way, Peter and Lois agree they, that they both went to a little too far. Kragmar states that he... he need to take a break from his friendship with the guys for the next two weeks. Brian Stewie then awake the next day and Brian, Brian tells Stewie that what happened but is dismissed a, as a weirdo. Stewie then leaves and comments that he found poop on Lois red dress. Classic Stewie. So a lot going on upstairs was really really good, fantastic and brilliant at the same time. So the verdict of um along going on upstairs I'm gonna give it 9.3 out of 10 because it was really, really good and awesome at the same time so please like share comment and subscribe for more awesome reviews like this and see you for EastEnders and Eve bye yeah please like oh yeah and Family Guy continues next does it I don't know does it hold on yeah, next um, Sunday at 9 8 Central on Fox. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah, next Sunday. 9 8 Central on Fox. So, I gave it 9.3 out of 10. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more epic reviews like this. And see you in a moment. Bye.